What's up everyone? Welcome back to Soup Machine. I'm Obix and today we are moving on to the ninth chapter. This is the same day as the previous recording, but for the sake of thumbnailing, I changed my sweater. Or my t-shirt actually. Let's just move on to the next game and see what awaits us. Uh, and yeah, I also used the chance that I changed my t-shirt to put more cream on the lip. Because if you don't remember, my lip is fucked. Oh, I can still use this. Oh, I love this. Wait, do you mean I finally get a game that keeps a mechanic from the previous game? Instead of discarding my inventory? Light of Shiva had drawn Liz to leave the lighthouse. Light of Shiva had drawn Murtag to leave in the lighthouse. Okay. Does this still work though? Oh, it does not. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying bullshit, okay? I understand. I understand that I can't get my hopes up because I start the game with an item from the previous game, okay? I understand now. I'm just stupid. <sighs> Fucking monster. I was really hopeful. I really thought it was gonna be a new game where I, where we were gonna jump between dimensions again. But of course not. Of course not. I'm just gonna throw this right into the trash. Why get my hopes up, Matt, is what I want to know. So did you travel too far or too early? What if I told you neither? I believe this is gonna move up. So does this mean that this place that I'm in exists in all the seven layers at once? So it's a common place between the seven? Because I'm actually using the item. I'm traversing to other dimensions. But it's not doing shit. Yeah, that's interesting. So are there going to be some places that I'm going to be able to use it? Or is it is all the game in one common dimension and the item is for nothing? I hope not. I know I got to get some karma liquid to insert here. And here, but I was just checking if there would be anything else. So, Karma Cog. Cog Wheel. Okay. Alright. Oh, this game. Okay. The 8th, 9th, and 10th games. They are all really fun. They have unique mechanics, the design of the games is pretty cool. It's just, it's the three games where Matt was more experienced and could explore his creativity way more. The formula was already there, he could just create more and more on top of it. So that's fun. And I like the, <clears throat> the Egyptian sort of imagery. The way that it looks like we're inside some tomb. Press Scarab. Okay, still the same. I'm gonna f I'm gonna believe, I'm gonna have faith that at some point I'm gonna have an indication that I gotta traverse to another layer. Otherwise there's no way to predict it. Oh. Stone key. This game starts so simple. The way that you just pick an item to use right after, and you're just in one place, is really odd to, after the previous game, to start this game so simply, in, in such a simple way, is interesting. Let me just take a screenshot of this. Oh, I see. Do I have to jump to the second location here? Do I have to? I do. Okay. Here's the thing. Can I go back to the previous games and use this device as well? 
I am so intrigued, dude. Because if that's the case, that's wild. Am I going to be able... I'm just going to go back. I'm going to stop the game right here. Let me go back. Where is the first... Okay, let me... I cannot! I cannot! But I do have a micro stabilizer here. I'm going to explore all of this later, but... Also, the graphic the difference between this game and the ninth one is abysmal. Um, but I, I was really hoping that I would be able to use this transporter on the other secret areas. I am so intrigued, though. Because they all show the same amount of lines and circles. It really feels like I should be able to go back there, use this transporter and find something. Maybe once I finish all the games, I'll be able to. I am very intrigued about that shit. Also, the fact that this changes in every layer is interesting. So, I gotta be mindful that in these places that have things that change between dimensions, there might be some secrets hidden. Even though I have the indication that there's something in one place, it doesn't mean that there isn't, there isn't anything else in the other six. From using the jumps between dimensions to be able to traverse, to using the jumps to find specific things. That's interesting. That's a fun, fun mechanic. I got a brass sphere. And I got a karmic seal. Oh. What? This one doesn't say shit. So this has a secret related to the dimension that I cannot access. That's interesting. I'm gonna take a screenshot either anyway. I already know this is related to this specific game and it's not a secret like the ones before in the other games, but I'll still screenshot it. But yeah, the fact that it's related to the other dimension, I'm, am I gonna find the button to be able to get there? Or is it just a fucking teaser? Press style. First, fourth, and seventh. I see. I see another tile and this looks like a place for a very well hidden micro stabilizer but I cannot access it right away obviously six layer I didn't even check the, the name of this thing, but okay. Another tile. Oh, actually. I was forgetting about this. Really? I thought the ball was gonna do something else for me. Okay, I see. Fun. I like that. Masculine sarcophagus ornament. When Murtak put his arm into the waterfall, he noticed that he no longer had an arm, but seven of them. That was not something unexpectable. What is a miracle, though, is that he, after you move... Foot this. I'm sorry, I need to take a sip of water because I'm stumbling a lot on my words. 
What is a miracle though, is that after he removed his arm from the water, he could still see all seven layers of his left arm. Not longer after that, he understood that focusing them all in one place created a portal. That was because all of his arms, from all the layers, met at one place and caused the interdimensional karma flow at his fingertips. The lore is starting to get... is starting to be explained. Oh, this is the pole that I used back there. Okay. Let's go. Oh, there's something here, but we don't know in which layer. That's fun. Interesting. We got a micro stabilizer and we can use it. Okay. Was there any opening that I found where maybe I could insert this? I'm curious. Oh, I remember this area. Yeah. The statue one. This is another one of those puzzles that it's a three-dimensional area in a 2D game. Yeah, because this... I think it's the same structure as back there. I believe this is supposed to be Mortag and this is supposed to be Elizabeth, right? When Mortag saw the cat changing the layer of reality, he falsely connected that event with Einstein's theory of relativity. That was because in those early days Mortag was just beginning to understand the structures of reality. During his intellectual growth, he was able to come across the cat several times. He grew attached to the animal. When asked to take care of the cat, Elizabeth took him back to his appropriate dimension in the first layer. Interesting. Tomb of Mortag. Yeah, I believe I'm also going to interact with another cow, and this is going to open. Okay. okay, there's a lot of shit happening right now. Gate key, okay. Nobody could predict that the Enlightenment would cause such destruction. Even Murtag himself didn't know what happened. He was already looking at all seven layers at once. He was already removed from one dimensionality. To be back in only one layer, Murtag had to lose his focus. After he focused his mind back to the structure of the plan, his exploration teams didn't understand what happened. Some called it abandonment, others rapture. No wonder they panicked. They did not even have a philosophical device to comprehend the true nature of his disappearance. Murtag, the powerful, the caretaker, the overseer, masculine sarcophagus ornament, makes sense. Golden seal of Murtag. Alright, let's explore this down area. There was nothing here, I really thought I just ditched this and I had to come back.
We got the gate. Tomb of Elizabeth. Before I go there, let me just... Why does Murtek talk only to Elizabeth? She's the only person you can see. Remember, we're one layer. We are like a drawing on a piece of paper to him. A drawing that was erased, redrawn and erased again. Seven times over. But why is she seven dimensional? Isn't Murtek the only one with seven arms? Why is Elizabeth the only one you can see? And also, why do we gotta go all the way around to turn this device on? Why can't we just go to the back of the fucking statue? Climbing rope. Okay. Elizabeth, the merciful. The healer, the mother. I still don't have her decorative thing. Another micro stabilizer. Okay, so we're gonna use at least two. There you go. A valve. This goes here, okay. <clears throat> so I just turned something around. Okay. And also there's something to insert here, but I, I don't understand what. Oh, it's this. Oh, I see. Um, I still don't know what I turned around. I want to go back. I want to backtrack, try to understand what I did there. Oh, is this it? I did not remember this. Did I finish the chapter? The greatest mystery and misconception of the doctrine is that Murtag gained these powers. He didn't? No, they were given to him. By whom? By Shiva, naturally. Came back to a broken penis. Okay, so I gotta insert one on the second. On the fourth. And on the sixth. The eighth button. Okay, so now, come on. Now I gotta be able to backtrack. I gotta be able to go back to the game. And go to that place that showed there was something hidden on the last dimension. Come on, dude. Don't just finish the chapter on me. No. I don't wanna do this anymore. I want to go back. Please, I want to go back, dude. No. 
please allow me to go back. And there's also light here. I'm certain this light will show up in the other hole that I found. I'm just gonna end the chapter, ain't I? Chapter 10, the exit. Well, um, here's the thing, my friends. I really, really want to go back. But I can't. I can't, okay? I really can't. Why do you do this? Why do you give me the fucking button of the last layer? That I know I can use before. I guess that's it for this game, though. Really fun game. Um, a much chill version, much more chill version of the traversal between dimensions of the eighth game. And we're actually nearing the end. Next, we're gonna do the tenth game and then all the extras. So, yeah, that's it for this episode. I'm gonna switch shirts again and I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take care.